Hey guys, it's Justin back with an engineer's perspective. Um, just doing a super quick video this morning before I head out to work to update you guys on two things. One is some initial pressions on S110V and the other is what's inside this box. Let's try to go quick here. Uh, well, I do want to do a shout out to Prentice Goodwin. Um, uh, I don't think he makes videos on YouTube, but he does have an Instagram and I think it's at uh, Goodwin Prentice. But he was one of the winners of my giveaway and he loaned me this S110V PM2 with these flytanium scales and that cool backspacer. He was gracious enough to let me sharpen it. So I've now put two edges on there. Um, so I want to talk about that a little bit. The first edge I put on there, I started on and it, it had an edge from a wicked edge and it looked pretty good. Needed a teeny bit of work at the tip and then the wicked edge can never get right up to this choil back here, the plunge grind. So I just kind of got in there with a stone and brought that all the way down. But I started a S110V on the Veneve 100% concentration 240F, 400F, and then I did go up to the 800F. And then I showed a video slicing phone book paper without stropping. And then I did strop on one micron and I carried that for like an hour or so. And then uh, for giggles, I then went to a four micron, then one and a half and half micron on CBN just to see what would happen if I took it through that progression. Um, that did over refine it, but uh, it did help the, the sharpness because the two notes I really have from sharpening this is one, it sharpened way faster than I thought it was going to on this 240F. So raised a burr much quicker than I thought. The end sharpness, however, was much lower than I thought. It was a clean apex for sure, but it was hitting like 180 best, nothing great. Um, so that's kind of what people talk about. So I'm still working through that to see what I can do. Um, watching some Michael Christie videos, you know. Um, so that was the sharpening of it. Much easier to move than I thought it was going to be. Nothing. It doesn't feel that super with these diamond abrasives. Um, in use, it definitely feels better than an S30V. It does uh, hold on to that working edge plus that like K390 does but the front end sharpness isn't, doesn't seem to be wary. I K390 and the steels of that nature are. Um, not really any micro chipping or anything like that so far, very stainless. Um, so, so far it seems like a worthwhile upgrade to S30V, but not like this, the, the stainless version of K390 or anything like that, so. Yeah, but I, I like it, but you know, more to come. So the other thing is, uh, I'll show you this. So I got my super vitrified diamond waterstone. Sean packaged this up and wrote that on there. So I really appreciate that, that he, you know, sees that and knows, knows who I am. So that's really amazing. But uh, so here's the, 400 grit super vitrified stone. I still have to Google translate all this. And there she is. And comes with this um, stone to help with loading, is my understanding. But I got this in the mail 30 minutes before I had to take off out of town last Thursday. So I didn't get as much use on as I want to, but I tossed it in the suitcase and I brought it with. So anyways, you can see it's got a big slab of granite and then kind of a brown stabilizing layer and the diamond layer. Size compared to the eight by three Veneve. Same height, slightly less wide, much thicker, much heavier. It sits real stable in the stone holder. So that's really nice. Um, I sharpened Maximit and this S110V on it. And uh, for one, basically no loading at all. So you can see there, no dark spots. 
this thing rips. I have never, ever felt a stone grab into Maximet and move it like this stone does. Holy crap, it's insane. And that's what I was looking for, is something that has that kind of cutting power, but low maintenance, and it's splash and go. Um, yeah, so it's a beast. Uh, downside is, is it is really coarse in the finish. So obviously for it to cut that fast, it's gotta be coarse. Um, so I brought this stone and then the 800, 1200. So I wanted to try this jump to these two guys. And uh, on Maximit, and s 110 is currently wearing this edge, but on Maximit, too big of a jump. Excuse me, too big of a jump. So maybe this to a 400F might be the ticket. But um, yeah, on an S110V, seemed like it was a little bit better, but once again, it didn't take that like super duper sharp edge that I was hoping for. And I spent a lot of time on this 800F with S110V to see what would happen. But, um, but the main things was the incredible speed, the ease of use with Splash and Go, the lack of needing to flatten it or um, take care of loading was the big thing. I needed this kind of low grit cutting power in my arsenal. I've been looking for one. Um, why not diamond plates? Um, for one, I was hoping for a better finish over diamond plates. That remains to be seen, honestly. But the thing is, is uh, for cutting speed versus finish, I think this wins against a DMT course. And uh, the thing is, is this is not gonna wear out like ever. Whereas, uh, not this particular one, but I've got one of these that's totally worn out. And I've got uh, one of those two by six ones that's pretty well worn out. And that was probably on like six, eight months of use. So the diamond plates just don't last if you actually use them. And I like to use them on, you know, my K390s, 10Vs, Maximits, Rex 45s of the world. So they do get used. My favorite stone from the Venives is this 240F, the coarsest one. So this just seemed like a natural spot for me. I just, I needed something that could do this kind of work, that I could reset bevels, thin out knives, um, and yeah, just do all those sorts of things. So this is really where I wanted to go with that. Um, with all that said, that's all I've got for now. More videos to come on both of these things, and we'll try to do some comparisons with this to say this and the DMT course and uh, you know different jumps between here and here sort of a thing. So we'll do that. Please put down in the comments what you would like to see in regards to either of these things. I will gladly take a look at those. So that's all I've got. Have a good one. Bye.